Hi, so we're here today. I'm, I'm here actually with uh, Dr. G, and he was kind enough to stop by on his way to, to the ER. He's an emergency room specialist at uh, one of the partners at Simi Valley Hospital. And he was kind enough to stop by and, and uh, talk to us a little bit, give, give us some information of what's going on. And from, you know, he's in the front line of what's happening with COVID-19 right now. And I was talking to him. He's also a colleague and uh, works with us in our office. Uh, I was talking to him at the office about what's happening. And he was telling me about the, um, uh, that they hadn't had any cases, but just wait till mid-April, you're gonna have a wave coming in. And, and it, was, it, was not, <laughs> it was not good news, but, uh, so the other day I was talking to him again um, when he was at, at the office and he said we just had our first two cases and what's really interesting when, I, when uh, he was saying that they're younger so I think it was 22 and 27 yeah. and one of them was a nurse right? Well yeah one of them was a, nur a, a nursing student uh, they haven't been uh, actually confirmed because the testing uh, from the time we tested till the time they come back positive mm -hmm. is sometimes about five to eight days. Uh, so we still haven't confirmed them, but they looked uh, sick enough and they had all the symptoms that seemed to suggest that they were probably po high likelihood that they had. Right. But, right. And they're younger, but um, the first waves are starting to come and I were kind of wanted to kind of put this out there just to tell people um, that even though you may not have been really seeing it or hearing about it locally, to be careful, it, the, the wave is coming. It's not just in New York or you know, in, even in LA, it's starting mm -hmm. to get there. It's, it's okay. coming locally. Just to be careful, everything you've heard about uh, washing your hands, washing hands keeping yeah, yeah. yourself uh, 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 away, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you have uh, other issues, especially heart and lung issues. So. If you're a diabetic, for example, if you have COPD or emphysema, mm -hmm. if you have known heart problems, these are the people that really need to be careful. Right, like overweight, overweight. obesity, all of that. Exactly. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. And then um, this is again, it's a little bit anecdotal, but uh, there was a uh, nurse, uh, nurse, a ER doctor mm -hmm. in New York mm -hmm. that's actually doing this, and you know, as you most people probably know that. The nurse, uh, I'm sorry, the ER, the ER doctor in New York has been doing this for a few weeks now. And he says that one of the main things that he's noticed is the, the contact, the hand contact, the washing, and how important that is mm -hmm. to make sure that you don't touch public uh, things that you know, other people use that you don't know where, uh, how dirty the, right. that the item is. And then you touch your hand, you touch your face. Mm -hmm. So be very careful. Wash your hands a lot. Right. Uh, make if you wear a mask that will uh, cover your nose and your mouth, which like is the, the most N95 likely. One, the yeah. N95. Even a regular mask right. is fine. Of course, it's not going to give you the protection that the N95 right. does. But you know, any mask is better than nothing. Uh, but really, but it kind of reminds you of not to touch your face. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Because you, what you're looking right. for is the the mucosal uh, tissue that where the virus will go right. in. The way of so, entry to the to exactly the, to the yeah. body. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to kind of cover those. Uh, just uh, really, the the reason we want to put this out there to people is sort of the main idea is not to get sick in the first place. Right. And preventative. Really preventative, because. Right now, we do not have a lot in terms of helping against the virus itself. Right. We can support the person's immune system. We can give them uh, some help. If, you, if the person really gets bad, we can put them on a ventilator, but we don't have a lot of um, uh, uh, medications to help. Sure, sure. So what we're hoping that people will do is uh, hopefully not get sick. We don't have very large uh, number of people and what that will do is hopefully allow the healthcare workers to get more experience with it, to be able to test more people, mm -hmm. and then hopefully some of the people uh, uh, in the scientists to actually come up with right. some sort of a treatment. Right. And so if you were to get sick, say six months from now or a year from now, it would be a much different scenario right. than getting sick now. Right. It's so, more manageable at that more, point because exactly. hopefully, you know, the wave has gone down and you don't have as many sick, pe sick right. people so you can actually right. take care of those individuals. Exactly. That are coming. So one of the things that we were talking about is uh, how to prevent it by hand washing. A lot of people I see using a lot of, and this is what I'm telling, I'm telling people also, and, and I know it's out there, yeah. and we were just talking about it too. So when, when you're sanitizing, when you're wiping things with sanitizers and stuff, that's just spreading things around. Part of the, the, the uh, 
uh, biology of a, of a virus is that when it hits some like soap, it breaks up because it's fat, it's right. around, fat is right. around it. So, uh, yeah, so it breaks up. That's why soap washing is really important. So yeah. if you want to wash, if you want to sanitize your desk or something, just soap, some soap and water, like dishwashing yeah. liquid and water, because it really breaks up the fat and, and kills the virus. Right. So right. that's that's probably the best way you can do. I mean, alcohol and all that alcohol stuff. Alcohol is 70% percent or higher. If you don't yeah. have, right. if you don't have it, but yeah. always, always, you know, washing. Absolutely. Now we were talking about, uh, again, uh, the, the vitamin C and vitamin right. D, and right. you, know, you were telling me about you like, know, the soul vitamin C. What right, yeah. so vitamin C is thought to be a very good um, substance to help with the immune system. It's sort of for viral infections. Mm -hmm. So I know uh, a lot of people <laughs> probably already know that because we can't even get <laughs> yeah. vitamin C from Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think everyone's kind of got that message and that's great. So uh, keep doing that. Uh, oral vitamin C is great. Uh, um, there is some studies that are several years old that seem to suggest that there may be some uh, um, uh, the efficacy of vitamin D, vitamin D in vitamin terms of upper respiratory symptoms and such yeah. too. So if you have vitamin D, I would recommend D3. Uh, uh, that would be great too. It doesn't have to be super high doses, uh, but right. it, uh, it seems to help. Uh, and again, none of us know for sure, but you know, I don't see any downside to taking right. vitamin there's C. No, yeah, there's I don't no see, toxicity right. or anything like that. So there's no known toxicity to vitamin C or, right. and, and uh, you know, and, and uh, I think most people can use vitamin D even in regular right. times. So most people are deficient now. Anyway, anyway we've seen yeah, it, so. anytime you do it in right. the office, right. everyone's basically da down anyway. So that would be one. Uh, those would be two things I would recommend. Right. Yeah, and then you know we were talking about this, uh, Dr. B, um, Dr. B, that's me, <laughs> Dr. G, the alphabet doctor. <laughs> he's also you know he's also very um, ahead of his uh, time with with because he does ER, but he's also doing a lot of preventive. And natural uh, uh, medicines at the office, and he's doing uh, uh, vitamin injections and IV injections with vitamins, and we're you know doing vitamin C, but we can't even get that right now. Yeah. But that's something that's uh, that may be you know eventually you know when it comes around we can we can help with that as well to help boost your immune system. So all of these things I think they're gonna help and you know take the burden off of the healthcare system and the ER uh, physicians and the ER staff and you know, who are trying to take care of a lot of the uh, more more sick uh, people. And as we come, you know, with the testing, I just read something this, uh, yesterday that had five minute testing uh, devices that are coming out. That, uh, we'll see, and, we'll yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. see. I mean, testing tells you you have it, yeah. but it doesn't prevent you from right. having the it, symptoms. Yeah. Really the purpose of the, our conversation to our neighbors out there is to really try do your very best not to get not sick to get. in the first place right, right. and uh, that's really the key and uh it doesn't take a lot to do that right you know yeah we were talking yeah I was, I'm with, again uh we were hiking yesterday so i was asking you how far should we be apart is it like passing somebody is that gonna cause you to catch it no, it's no, not it's something. But you're, you're, you know, they're not sneezing on you. You're not, right. you know, you're not standing there and talking to them. But walking by somebody is not necessarily a... right. And, you know, the whole idea is, uh, it, I don't think the walking past someone is really going to give you a higher chance. Yeah, but the, the what we're saying to people is, don't get yourself in a situation yeah. where you're going to be with other people, potentially people you don't know, right. potentially people you don't know are sick or not, right. and and. Uh, uh, you know, have social interactions. It could be even partners. your family. It could be somebody that you haven't, sure. like, they're coming to visit you or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, of course. Yeah, we had uh, uh, some people who had come from another state, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, uh, one person came in and uh, they sort of infected the whole family. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So okay. it's, uh, you know, the, 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 the bottom line is please just take care of yourself, take care of your family, be careful. Um, and I want to just say thank you to uh, everyone who's given us so much support at the hospital mm -hmm. uh, for just thank you wishes, um, for bringing us food and, uh, and as such, and uh, we really want to thank everyone for that too. Just, it, it's really nice to know that the community is behind you. Great, thanks, and we'll bring Dr. G back on, and, and um, hopefully he can give us some more uh, updates on what's happening. Thank you so much.